Good afternoon, everyone. Marty Richards with Richland Center Tourism once again with one of our episodes of Why Do We Call It That? And today on this Friday kickoff for the weekend, we find ourselves on Smart Lane. So you know if it's named Smart Lane, I do not live here. Uh, so besides that point, uh, Smart Lane actually got its name after the residence of this very short uh, gravel driveway. It was previously occupied by Joseph and May Smart for many, many years. Uh, they were farmers in the local community. Um, what's funny is I'm not really going to tell you much about Joseph and May Smart, but they gave us in this community a particularly valuable gift. Now that's coming to you on Sunday. We're going to tell you more about that then. Um, so for this weekend, we're coming into a Friday today. Uh, the weather's looking fantastic. A lot of opportunity to do some pretty cool things in our area. Uh, a lot of open spaces that you can e easily socially uh, distance and make sure we do things enjoyable and safely. But what I am going to talk about, oh, and by the way, I checked the forecast, less than 10% precipitation all weekend long. So you're free to go outdoors, do as you please, okay? But what we are going to learn about today is a particular feature that many people in our area that have lived here, I've learned they really don't notice it. However, many people who come and visit notice it right away and really ask, what's up with that, okay? So here's the learning piece of today's why do we call it that. If we look out on the horizon here, you'll notice that the horizon is very level. All of the hills basically achieve the same height and that's it. Well, that's what we call cap rock. In geology terms, what that means is essentially when the water is receded, so we this is not a glaciated area, so that's why we call it the driftless area. But what happens when the water's receded, this was all ocean at one point in time, and when it receded, the cap rock was the point of resistance where a harder surface existed. And in our area, it was karst limestone or karst sandstone that the water didn't erode. And what ended up happening was that it met at that point and did not go below that surface. So if we look out across the horizon, that's why in Richland County specifically, you will see this quite, quite often, that all of the horizon, even up on top of the hills, all have the same height. So that's called cap rock. You learned something today. Uh, rarely do you learn anything from me, but today was a special day. But I do encourage that you join us on Sunday night and we will share a little gem with you that you can also enjoy. Uh, you can go out hiking, walking at it, uh, and really just enjoy the surroundings. Uh, but you're going to have to wait until Sunday night to hear about it, okay? So enjoy a great Friday and weekend here in the Richland County area. Let's make sure we're safe. Wash our hands, okay? Um, also, let's keep that distance. And remember, uh, since you're in Richland County, uh, we've had a huge dairy heritage with a lot of dairy farms. If you're wondering what the safe distance is that you should keep from somebody that you're next to, it is a cow's length. So just keep a cow's length between you and the next person and you're good to go. All right. So for Richland Center Tourism, I'm Marty Richards. I hope you have a great weekend. And oh yeah, by the way, don't forget to mask up too if you're in inside. Uh, that is uh, state order at this point. So let's just mask up and be a good neighbor. Let's keep everybody safe. Again, Marty Richards for Richland Center Tourism. Have a great weekend.